Which way do you clean your menstrual cup? Do you just rinse it off with water, use a mild soap, use a feminine hygiene wash, a wash that was specifically made for a menstrual cup, boil it or microwave it? There are several other methods that people use, but the one that I'm gonna go over today is using a steamer device to sanitize your cup. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me post this picture here of my Lulu cup in a steamer pig. Some of you were interested in it, wondered where I got it, how much it was, and if it actually worked. If you're curious and want to hear more about it, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I've seen steaming devices like this on Amazon and eBay, and I've always been curious about them, but they were out of my comfortable price range, so I never picked one up. While I was browsing on Alibaba and AliExpress, familiarizing myself with some of the cheapy cups that might be coming up, I spotted a listing for a menstrual cup sterilizer. Intrigued, I clicked on the link and, you know, looked at what they had to say about it, and it was around $11 and some change in USD, so I went ahead and took the chance. When I placed my order, I did have to leave a note for them because they have a photo with options of different plugs that you can choose from, depending on your country. It arrived in about three weeks, which is pretty short compared to some of the other items that I've purchased before, which could take up to three months. And my item came packaged in a box with some brown paper around it. Uh, it was smashed, so I threw it into the recycling bin. There were no instructions that came with it, so I immediately went online and looked at some other steamer devices similar to the one that I got and followed along from there. These devices are very similar to those egg boilers that you might have seen, or maybe a sanitizer for baby items. Rewind a sec. I mentioned that the listing was for a menstrual cup sterilizer, and I used these air quotes because there's a difference between sanitizing something and sterilizing something. Sanitizing something leaves behind certain types or a certain amount of microorganisms. It decreases microbes on the surface and lowers the germ count to a safe level as defined by the public health standard. Sterilizing something kills all microbes. Usually this is done in an autoclave at temperatures of 250 degrees Fahrenheit with 15 PSI for at least 15 minutes. Pretty much anything that we would do at home wouldn't reach the sterilizing status. This little piggy comes in three different pieces. This clear piece on the top is the lid. There is a notch here so that you can pick it up when it is done steaming. The ears of the pig has holes in it so that the steam can be released. Next is a tray and this is what you're gonna set your cup on. And last is the base of the pig, which is the heating element. This is where you're going to pour your water into. This unit doesn't have an on and off switch, so you'll want to pour your water in and place your cups in it before you plug it in. I'm going to pour the water in and I'm going to stay below this little edge here. The lid doesn't lock down in any way, it is loose, so if it gets knocked, the lid might come off. So before I begin, here's a baseline uh, of the temperature indoors here, so it says 57 degrees Fahrenheit, and here is my temperature gauge at 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and the indicator light comes on here. And I'm actually going to wait until it starts to boil before starting my five minute timer. The unit heats up pretty quickly, so it shouldn't take long. And while we wait, I did use ordinary tap water for this. I didn't uh, get anything filtered or distilled. To avoid spots, if you have hard water, you might want to use filtered or distilled. 
um, but I do suggest emptying the water and then wiping the unit dry after you're done using it. I did put three cups in there, one standing up and three on their sides. The lid is domed so the steam will circulate inside and surround each cup inside and out. Also since the lid is domed, the steam will be contained, it will climb up the walls, hit the top, and drip down back as water. Unlike having your cup in a pot of water, the water turns into steam, the steam goes out into the air, and evaporates. If you're not careful or have a timer going, you may end up with a pot of a blackened menstrual cup. I can hear the steamer start to bubble. And I can also see the lid start to get a little hazy or foggy. Now that it's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and set a five minute timer. And warp speed. Before I unplug it, I am going to take a temperature reading from the outside of the unit. And remember that the boiling point is down there. And by the time the steam gets to circulating up here, it's already cooled down some. Paired with the temperature outside of the dome, this reading is going to be significantly lower on the outside than it is on the inside. 116 degrees. Make sure to allow this to cool completely before handling it or even taking off the lid. So we're looking for a number around 175 to kill off any microbes. Even if we account for uh, the cooling of the steam, if we added 10 degrees more, we still didn't reach that number. If you rinse your cup, of course with cold water first so that you don't have any staining, and then wash it with a mild soap, and then use the steamer, it might still lower the germ count. As you can see in these photos, there was quite a bit of stuff left over in the water, but I feel like those would have been washed off easily under the tap. So the things that I didn't like about my purchase was that one, uh, which is kind of petty, but I didn't get to choose the color. They send the color at random and I got pink. I also didn't like that there was no on and off switch, so you have to plug it in and unplug it to turn it on and off. And that there was no uh, timer or auto off. If you'd rather not boil your cup on the stove top or put it in the microwave, um, or even like if your family doesn't care for you to bring your menstrual products into the kitchen or your partner, you can use this wherever you have an outlet with power going to it. In the bathroom, in the bedroom, in a closet, in the garage, anywhere you want. But if you do get this unit, make sure to keep it out of the reach of children and pets when it's in use. It does get very hot and I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't boil my cups very often, but I feel like I might be using this a little bit more frequently. So that's all I have for now about the Piggy Steamer. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below how you feel about it after seeing this video. Do you still think it's a benefit to your menstrual cup cleaning methods? Or is it a pass for you? Until I see you next time, take care.